Hello everybody and welcome to game number 9 of UKBBL Currently 8-0 and um, versus Hon who is a 3 or 4 time champion um, But he's been champion with the Nurgle and this is he's given it high elves a spin Now as you can see from his record 4-2-2 he started off poorly But then he um, he's recovered with wins in his last few games um, As you would expect from high elves a rough start but now he's got some dodge going on He's got uh, how many players? One two three four dodge bludge tackle he's got a block guard lineman very nice that he's got the second skill on him already strength four lineman mm, it's it's obviously it's a bit bloaty but he's, he's got 14 players which is wild um however i was an idiot and sacked my 14th player before the match just randomly when i was thinking i don't need 14 players whereas if i'd waited for him to challenge me um i would have been all right so i'll get a wizard for sure um and I think I'm going to have to waste this 40 because I want to be able to buy a wizard against Ducky um, if I lose this game. If I lose or draw this game, I'll probably buy a wizard against Ducky. Otherwise, I'll um, I'll keep my money. So I guess, unfortunately, I, I just have to waste this 40k inducements. And it could have been a 14th player, which could have done something. I could maybe get a babe, but you know I've just got to hope he's not going to hurt people. And with two reserves, if he does, it's not so bad. Keeping this ghoul just because, just for this season, you know, ghouls die a lot, so a minus movement isn't that bad. You can still fight a bit, still got dodge to keep him on his feet. And obviously got some guard and some mighty blow, so I'll just hope to win the win the toss and beat him up as usual. At high team value, Harry Koo, yeah. At high team value, I would I would run fourteen elves if I could. It basically it just depends. Um, it just depends on what, what inducements you're giving away. Well, maybe he would, yeah, maybe he wouldn't, Dr. Mom Bosco, but at least I could have waited for him to act before I acted. It was a bit silly. I didn't think of him buying an extra player, to be fair. <laughs> well, maybe, Ducky, if I have to win, I have to win, don't I? That's the thing. I mean, I might, if, if, I, if I win this game, then I won't. But, um, right, I'll, I'll just receive and beat him up. That's the most important thing. Um, the thing is, Ducky, I've got to win every game. Having well, okay, I don't have to win every game. From now on, I can I can win two, lose one, and qualify. So if I lose this game, then I'll have to win against you. But if I win this game, then I can lose against you, and it's all right. I know it's a favourable matchup, but you know I think you're the best coach, um, apart from myself in this division, and so therefore I want a wizard against you, don't I? Well, if I have to win, it's silly not to, basically. It's just, that's the thing, isn't it? It's silly not to. The mechanics are such that if you've got a must-win match, you must hire a wizard. It's basically it's basically that simple, isn't it? So, um, it is UKBBL seeding, yes, Inarian. Um, there is a... There is a playoff discussion thread, which you can, um... Which you can see here, bish bosh bash. Um, there are they are scheduled matches, and um, there's 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 like loads of divisions. I don't know how many divisions there are. Twelve divisions are twelve people. Um, so there's 144 coaches, and the top four coaches go to the playoffs. Which currently I am um, I'm in prime position to be the top out of 144. If I if I win this game, I'll be the top coach out of 144 people. The only person on nine and zero, in fact. I'm the only person with a chance of being 9-0 and at the moment. Um, so, yeah, there's no overtime. <laughs> yeah, I read, I read that the, the, there, was, there was confusing overtime. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to quit the TBBL and only play OCC and um, UKBBL is my only two scheduled ones and then maybe drop one of those for for the team fantastic if I if I get if I can think of a format that works um, then it'll be all right right so I want to three dice this guy with a mummy don't I um, and I want to pom this guy as well I guess he protects the ball quite well, doesn't he, having the tackler there? I guess the tackle's pretty decent, actually. D3. 
decent shout. This isn't great against a blitz, is it? He'll get hit by a by a blocker if he gets hit. Maybe I could put him in the middle to protect him in case of a blitz. But then it really fucks up the way everyone hits. This is the best for a 3D here, into a 3D here, into a 2D pile on here, isn't it? And then block hitting the thing. This this works better, but it's just if he gets a blitz. It's pretty bad. If he gets a perfect D, he saves two players from mighty blow hits. Um, don't know. If he gets a kick over here, it's pretty bad times. If it kicks, comes here, then this is a good, good defense against it, isn't it, pretty much? Alright, fuck it. Alright. B L G F, even though he's in the Mafia. Both the same, basically, um, Rinjani. I don't like either format, to be honest. Right, good. Avoided the nightmare blitz. Pow, pow is non dodger. Ah, perfect time for the ball down. Cloud. Don't mind if I do. I'd really like to blitz over here, wouldn't I? But then I don't have anybody free. I guess I've just got a block here. Pow him. I can get up there, which is quite far forward, actually. I don't want to make a crazy foul here. I just want to foul his good players. Forget the chance. A lot of both downs on men with block, wasn't it? Pretty nice. I guess he can stay there for now. This isn't great, is it? He can he can run round and um, two D him if he wants. That protects the ghoul from a 2D, doesn't it? Right. I guess I could have put my tackle on the line. Could have done. Well, it's not that it's not that sad, Harry Koo, because at least zombies haven't been getting the MVP. Only one zombie MVP on the team. Good old Gandhi, misspelled Gandhi. So it's good that I haven't got them in a way because it means that, you know, these guys have got the um, MVPs. 30 for the mummy, 15 for this guy, 11, 29. I've at least got MVPs on positionals, which is what you want, isn't it? So while it's I'm a little bit sad, I'd obviously like, an, an, I'd like a dirty player, but... Um,
Yeah, the minus MA ghoul, he does he does a job, doesn't he? He does a job. At the end of the day, a block a block um I'd rather like for the difference he, for ninety K he is still a, he's ninety K and he is a rookie Amazon Blitzer, isn't he? Like that's what he is, it's ridiculous. That's that's just absolutely what he is. He is a, he is a rookie Amazon Blitzer for the same cost. So I'm not gonna sack him. El fucking they die fast enough anyway, ghouls. So I don't think there's any reason. If it was matching, TV matching, like TV based matchmaking environment, I would have sacked him. But that's good. He blitzes my least valuable player. Well, even though it's a five star player, point one. But then that frees up his guy, of course. Hello, VIP Sen 89. Thank you very much. One player down on turn one's alright, isn't it? I just need to get jam my mummies in so I can get follow up blocks. That's the thing, isn't it? Make it hard for him to extricate his players. Yeah, that's the thing. You you can't you can't fret about minus MA. Minus MA, you can you on on a ghoul. Ghouls die so easy, who gives a shit? I'd actually like to blitz him into a into a guy, but I can't make it. Can I? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd have to GFI. If I blitz him with him, I can jam in mummies. I think I like the idea of this, jamming in mummies. Just keep grouped up, and if he wants to commit lots of men blocking, then you would hope you will lose the blocking war, wouldn't you? Good evening, Imperator Augustus, and everybody. Yeah, so you know this isn't surprising, but him, 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 getting players in base to base fighting. Is isn't bad for me, is it really? Now he's going to struggle to hit the mummies. He's at least giving up a mummy block here at the moment. I mean, this this currently, he's going to have to blitz one mummy down or something. It's not easy for him to not give up mummy blocks right now, is it? Ah, I guess you know you can you can blitz with a strength four, so he might just knock everybody down. But maybe I could have committed one more player into the into the fray. But even then, at least he's all clumped up, and I can blitz somebody with palm and hopefully kill them. Yeah, it's hard for him to even one dice the mummies now, isn't it? In fact, I don't think he can one dice the mummies. Might half die with block or wrestle. I guess he, he could half die with block, couldn't he? And then one die with wrestle. Yeah, he's a multiple, multiple champion in Arian. He's either three or four time champion in UK BBL. So he's certainly, he's certainly at least decent. Yeah, if only he had stand firm there. So now he's in for the one die with wrestle. But push is no good for him, and he's used his reroll. See you later. Skull, KO. 
Good, so that was worth it, wasn't it? Now I get the Blitz's guard guy, I guess. Get to block this guy, this chap here. Oh, I guess I'll Blitz first. Oh, death! Death is guard. He's got to apple it. There's not even a choice. Instant apple. Yes, into apple fail. Glorious. Glorious level up for that lad. Ball safe if I might fail this one. I guess he can stand up here. Can't make this three die, can I, unfortunately? Get the power though. I could almost foul this guy now, couldn't I, with three, two assists? But he is. I think I'll save my fouls for the um, the catches or like positionals. The dodge Lino here is still not in a great spot, is he? What could I put the guard in anywhere to make things. Nah, he's gonna get 2D'd if he wants to 2D him. I guess I could put this guy on him as well. And then actually... Bring him in here to put a tackler... Tackle, tackle zone on the ball. On the ball, on the down player. Probably better overall, isn't it? He's not really doing anything, is he? Maybe I should have thought about that. Put him somewhere better. <clears throat> Dropping like flies already. Like every game, Pedro Jack, to be fair. I've been really lucky in, in UK BBL. I have been very lucky, as you can tell by an 8 no. You don't get 8 no by not having any luck, do you? Um... Yes, streamer BG, yeah, wrestle is good. You want a defensive skill, which is either block or dodge or wrestle, isn't it? And um, wrestle and block are both offensive as well as defensive. If you look at my high elf team, I actually took, um, I actually did take um, wrestle on all of my guys. So I do like it. That was good, wasn't it? Uh, this guy, this move, minus movement guy, just fucking thrown out there, not really doing anything of relevance, but get blitz, gets blitzed as like an easy target with his re with his tackler. Um, he's done his job, hasn't he? At least now, at least we now know that. Um At least we now know that the, 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 there's no bonus for not conceding, so you can concede, and it just it just affects your limit of concessions. It doesn't give you a minus things. Oh, early on, you'd still like block more, I think, but later on, with high elves, I would take I would have taken block, um, and I do take a few blockers with high elves just because they lack it. But with dark elves, I take I take um, the other ones. Right, I could blitz him in, into a mummy here, couldn't I? One, two, three. Four into a mummy hit seems good. Um, obviously, this guy needs to get out of the way and facilitate a block. Also, um, I could have maybe put him here, couldn't I? To make this a three D. Ah oh, well. Hopefully, I'll just kill him. Got him. Okay, old. Good. Sounds good to me. Hmm. I want to get the the tackle that didn't do anything, did it? Unfortunately. Let's make this block here first. It's only a double skull. That's a bad one, isn't it? Maybe I should have taken the boat down, actually. 
in retrospect. I want to save him. I could move him there to sandwich him in. And then tag him as well. And then still have a cage. But I don't really want my tackler to be blitzed by his tackler. So... I could just put him on him. And him on him. Put the stand firm on there, eh? Seems okay. Yep. At least you have 14 guys. <laughs> and he can now 2D one, at least one of them easily, can't he? The thing is, though, Sam Davis, at low TV, block is just better. Because, basically, at low TV... Um, the thing is, at low TV, block's better. Because people don't have block. And at high TV, wrestle's better, because people have block. So, Dark Elves, starting with four block. You know, it's much easier to take wrestle than people. Oh, he's gonna, is he going to foul this? Is he going to foul this guy? I guess he is. He's just realised he's got 14 players, he's going to fucking foul that guy. Holy shit. Holy shit, he's totally going to foul the mummy. Otherwise he's just being stupid, so he has to, he has to be fouling. Oh my god. I shouldn't have told him he has 14 players. Fuck. Right, I want to put this guy in here and this guy here and this guy here and this guy here and then the cage such as it is can meander over here a little bit Can he reach now? Guess I need to go forward a little bit more, actually. Um, and I guess I should make a foul. So, two fouls next two turns and moving forward a little bit. But obviously, next up on the agenda is killing the fuck out of this guy. Good night, sweet prince. Ah, only a stun. Lame. At least I've trapped him a little bit. Uh, not really. He can still just dodge every most people out pretty easily. That stuns you, so I'll foul the strength four next turn. Hopefully. Hopefully get a foul on that strength four and cage near him. I may, maybe I shouldn't be discussing tactics in case Hans here, what I'm going to do next turn. But Obviously I've got to start moving forward, having only three turns, but only need two turns to score, so... It's not so bad.
by the way I'll post I'll post a link in chat here and um, I mean some people on I'm pretty confident with the people who've um, who've said in in um, people have asked in discord and people gave me answers but um if you if you click on this link here hopefully it'll work and you can see Amazon and see if you think that laptop looks a decent laptop to get I want a kind of like you know a cheap laptop that will play Blood Bowl 2 and uh, that seemed like the cheapest one that would play Blood Bowl 2 so um, if you could um, you know if you think if you can if you can think if you can link me something better than that or if you just give opinions on that that'd be great please Just playing it, bleeding hippie. I, I don't have to stream with it. He's giving me a lot of ground here, isn't he? So I think I'll blitz this one, foul him, and then move everyone forward. Can't afford to do the blitz first, so we're gonna have to move the men up first. Um, a little bit dodgy here. I'm playing a little, living a little bit close to the edge, letting in minus two D the mummy here potentially, but. It's not that crazy, is it? Um, safe moves first, would you look at that? I need to get this foul in though, that's the thing, so I can't actually do any more safe moves, I have to do this blitz first. Injury, see you later, fucking prick. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um <laughs> Right, so I can get three guys in for that assist. I could go put him to tag two guys without dodge. And then yeah, that seems okay. Plus two foul isn't great, is it? But might as well, since I've taken nothing. And he's got a strength four lineman. Straight away. Straight into send off. Insta. Insta send off. <laughs> Get away with stream on it. Thank you, Azeron. Yeah, well, gang foul would have been amazing, but double one, I mean, it would have been hard to have broken, broken his AV there, wouldn't it? Obviously taking my mummy, maybe there would have been, there would have been a strong argument for just moving the mummy here, wouldn't there? It would have been an extra plus one on the foul. Um, but at least this way it makes two guys just have to dodge, and basically three players just have to dodge now, instead of maybe blocking this guy. Um, but then I've got less strength over there, maybe I shouldn't have moved him here. But on the other hand, he can then mark the strength four unless the strength four dodges away. Well, yeah, well, it wouldn't help with the with the roll, but I mean, you don't know what the rolls are going to be, do you? Um, so you can't really, you can't really say that. Um, you know, I could have I could have just as easily rolled a six then, or well, rolled a five and rolled a six and been like shit if I got the extra assist. The Dublé powers, I hope I roll the same as him next turn.
So basing the ball is fine, isn't it? Fine play for him. And then because I have moved that, maybe the wrong place. I don't know. Make some two pluses. I guess he's just two pluses. I shouldn't have done it. This is a two plus with a reroll. So it's not the worst odds in the world if I make this dodge, would it be? I don't, ne I don't actually have to blitz him if I don't want to. So I could blitz him and then make the cage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, quite far forward. Put him out to there, him out to there, him out to there. Yeah, I think I think this um this dodge is actually okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, Put him on there. I don't want to put a strength five just in one player. But obviously I need a bit of... I guess if I fail this dodge, I, I just don't score. He's not going to score with only two turns left, probably. Fuck it. All balls out. Do the dodge first. You could have bet your life on the first one. Why? Every time, man. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, I could have just blitzed somewhere else. Of course I could have blitzed I could have blitzed him and then not got as far forward. But he could he could else screen and shit and I needed to get as far forward as possible. And it's just unbelievable that you do all that and then fucking double one it. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Fucking unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable. Maybe I should have moved this guy over here first. But I wanted to maybe his GFI him into him. <sighs> Man. But it was my fault. I didn't need to I didn't need to make it. I could have just blitzed him, obviously. And then um But I just wouldn't have got as far forward, would I? I would have without that push I would have been like over here somewhere. And then having a GFI to score next turn. The only fucking the only fucking um Dice are re-rolling the end of higher half as well. If he double GFIs, he can probably score, can't he? Okay, now. Only with him, though. He's the only one who can score, and he's used his re-roll. That's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable that I, I marked three people... For a one in six, one in a one in thirty-six chance, he marks one person for it. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? I make one dodge in the entire half, and only because he's agility four, and I've got a reroll for it. <laughs> just fucking banged on. He might go for the, 
He might go for the foul here, mightn't he? That's probably his best shot. Shot. Seems he's got the reserves. Fucking hell. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. His best way of keeping the ball safe, isn't it, is actually just to go for the foul. So this could easily be a draw, couldn't it? I think I had to go for it. Maybe I didn't have to go for it. Because it only saved me. Nah, I don't know. It got everyone down, though, didn't it? It did get people down. It did get these guys down. Because he was assisting the block and stuff. So it did get people downfield quite well. Now he can just he can just punt, can't he? He can just punt. <sighs> you can just punt. He'll just punt it. Oh, man, I shouldn't say that stuff. He, he might be watching, mightn't he? He's just... He, he's watching. No, he's not. <sighs> well, yeah, it's easy to say, isn't it, Pedro? But it's a 1 in 36. I mean, it's a 1 in fucking 36 chance of failing, isn't it? It's a 1 in 36 chance of failing. The blitz there, being safe, is no good if you don't fucking get anywhere. If I didn't blitz here, then I cage here and I'm and I'm eight squares away. That was, I think that was bad. I think he should have definitely punted. I mean, this is possible, isn't it? I can just four plus for a one day here. Um, that isn't bad. And then I can run around and maybe pick it up and pass or something. I could bolt, I'm not gonna bolt. Could I bolt? I could actually bolt, but no. No, I can't. That looks good, doesn't it? Then pass it to him. He needs to get in for the um, interception chance. What about... Um, he's got a catch. I don't know if he can intercept from there. So one, two, three. I think this is probably going to be better, isn't it? And then just pass from here. The only thing is not knowing whether this guy's going to be able to intercept or not and not being able to change it. If I went this way, then I could make an extra GFI there to definitely avoid that. This might be an inception chance for the catcher. Right, well this is happening first. Right, dodge is gone. So, I guess it's this way. Yeah, he's got the interception chance. Fuck. Yeah, of course. Of course he does. Of course he does. I get my guy surf to make it harder for him. I rolled a two on the fucking dodge anyway. That was a straight six anyway, didn't need catch. <sighs> Fuck off. He should, well, if he was watching, he should have he should have punted. He should have 100% punted there. Then I'd have had no chance to score, and he didn't punt. So I shouldn't have told him to punt in case he was watching. Football's a great game, isn't it? Yeah. And it just. Hopefully, he fills two KO rolls. 
And he's actually down to 10 players then. Yeah, he rolls a, he rolls a six on the intercept while I roll double one on the dodge. But yeah, I mean I shouldn't have I should I shouldn't have come down to a one in thirty six chance, should I? Yeah, but Sam Davies, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, what's the chances of me popping the ball? Pretty high. Four plus dodge? Four plus to pow? So you can't live in fear of rolling a 1. That's the thing. That's the thing, you know. Like, it's different when you're playing against mugs. When you're playing against all of these awful... Oh, not, not taking the surf. Unbelievable, Jeff. Of course, he'll just cast this guy now, won't he? Just... Just to make my fucking day. How you can make that blitz before this block is unbelievable to me. Unbe absolutely unbelievable. Um, 4 plus, then 4 plus. Because he didn't have block. So it was a four, then a four. And um, I think you can't... And I've got a re-roll. You can't live in fear of rolling ones. You really can't. Like, it's not about your dice failing. It's about their succeeding, isn't it? You doing a one dice without block is better than getting two dice with block and stuff. So you just can't think about, like... You can't play too conservatively against people who've got a clue. Obviously, you can play ultra-conservatively against random call open player who is new to Blood Bowl. Um, oh, wow, he's getting the foul in as well because he thinks he's got reserves. Dirty dingo. He's made two fouls. He's made two fouls and he hasn't got sent off. And he might he might be down to 10 players second half. No, he's not. Yeah, it was a 4 plus 4 plus with a reroll. So I had pretty decent fucking odds of um, of getting him actually. I guess I want to deny the touchdown altogether here, don't I? Oh, Christ, this is horrible. A good player's got to be blitzed. Whatever happens. I've got, I mean, I've got to go aggressive defence here. Got to, I think, because I want to win, don't I? I've got to win. It's all about winning. All about the winning. Yeah, the salt level is rising, isn't it? Looking at chat. But come on, man. I'm 1 in 36. I made 1 1 in 30. The only risk I took in the entire half was a 1 in 36 dodge. And I 1 in 36. Unbelievable, Jeff. Zombies are at the back because they're. Um, because if he. He can't then blitz a high player and make progress. Because I, I, I can't afford for him to score at all now, can I? Sorry, I'm just. Sort of out here. Um, because I'm trying to win rather than draw, which is maybe is a bit silly, because I could maybe just take the draw. If he wants to make progress downfield, he has to blitz a zombie. If he just wants to blitz for attrition, he gets to blitz anyone he wants. Um, but if he's trying to go downfield, he has to blitz a low-value player, which will encourage him to blitz a high-value player and therefore not make progress down the pitch. And then let me open to whiz turnover win. <sighs> well, yeah, um Honor's Honor's won a few times, hasn't he? He's 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 been champion a few times. Andy Davos Won a few times. Shafe is the current champion. Ducky is the is the champion ladder champion. So um, there's there's three really good coaches in this group. Um, well, four if you count me. So 
So he's down to 11. And he is missing his guard, which is good. But obviously he's going to try and elf stall now, isn't he, with this little thrower. Let's hope he won in 36s with his fucking pass. So the good thing is he's not making progress this time. Yeah, see, so he is going to blitz the zombie. That's why the zombie's on the outside. There is your answer. He's got to re-roll it. He's down to two re-rolls from the off. Nice. Very nice. A draw could still be doable here, couldn't it? Maybe he wants to win Bleeding Hippie. VIP Bleeding Hippie. Maybe he wants to go for a draw or a win, yeah? Yeah, maybe he's playing for the draw. Yeah, Wizard, maybe the Wizard's meaning that he wants to just score and get his... Get, maybe because the Wizard just wants to get his score on the board. Um, he did score fast in his other games. Um, so I was aware that he, would, he may be wanting to score quickly this game. But there's not really a lot I can do about it, is there, unfortunately? If he wants to score early, as elves, there's not a lot I can do. I just can't believe he rolled... I rolled a double one on my dodge, and he rolled a six on his intercept. And sure, he had two chances on his intercept. I couldn't stop that, unfortunately. Yeah, that's his style. I, I, I spec'd the game, an early game, and he scored in two and got 2-1 grinded. Um, and obviously, I just wish I hadn't rolled that one in 36. Because that alone makes this a fucking shower of shit, doesn't it, really? It's hard for me. It's hard for him to not score, though, isn't it? If he just if he just tries to score here, if he, it's hard for him, it's it's basically impossible to stop me for me to stop him scoring in two. If he wants to try to score in two, I just literally can't stop him, which is pretty fucking lame, if you ask me. Pass for the win. I don't, I don't. I don't recall that, but I remember you passing for a win in a, in crazy style. A pass for a draw. Um, I could GFI in there. I could get so guard in here. One, two, three. GFI, GFI. So this guard maybe in here is better, so he can block him. We should take frenzy on him now. I could just go for a him fall back and then get. a Yeah, him fall back seems the best one there, doesn't it? These two could then go and just get in the way a bit. Fuck it. I'm going to go for the tackle. GFI there.
Gonna have to make GFIs all over the shop here. One, two, three. I've got to make so many GFIs this turn. Well, I guess that stops these guys GFIing. He still has to GFI to here. I think. Because that means he can still block him. Getting a bit further forward. Maybe I overcommitted there, but I've got to, I've got to heavily commit to stopping scoring because if he scores. I don't win, do I? <laughs> I'm only seven years old but was born running block dice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do have the wizard. He opens up with a one dice blitz. And this makes it look like he's trying to force the score, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly, the master, yeah. He's just going for it, isn't he? He's just going for it. He must be going for it. It's the only thing that makes sense. Fortunately, this isn't my tackler. Maybe I should... Uh, my tackler was at the other side, so I couldn't. He's all in on a fucking 3-plus pass. He must be. Or a 4-plus pass. Or he's just going to hand off. He's going to pass it to him, then hand off. So he's gone for three one in thirty sixes, then loads more one in thirty sixes. Of course, he'll he'll pass all of his with horrific failure states compared to mine. He'll just pass all of them. Three three two. Oh! Oh! 
He didn't. He didn't. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. What a glorious day. What a glorious, glorious day. Holy shit. I stand corrected. All right. Well, there's so many things to do this turn. There's th this guy to surf, this guy to block, and Pom, potentially, a cage to build. I think this has to be done first, doesn't it? And then this block. Okay, this guy can be fouled. I want a cage here. Cage here means that this guy can stand here. And this guy can stand here. And this guy can stand here. Right, so 1 in 36. Unbelievable, Jeff. This is Sparta. <sighs> you can double GFI for the foul here. Still got a ways to go in all these turns. Plus two foul with him. Could be plus three if he comes forward. Can't re-roll the GFIs though. Let's do this block first. Plus three foul, two GFIs. He's not doing anything else. I think just think plus one, because I need him in here, don't I, to stop his bullshit dodges. 58% right. break AV, fuck it. Will I get sent off for a stun? I guess I'll take a sent off for a stun, seeing as he's down to nine. Yep, sent off for a stun. Fair enough. It was a 1 in 36, I believe, Lean Hippie. But I mean, he had, he had two 1 in 9s and four 1 in 36s that turn. Hopefully. Well, if he wanted to win, he had to two turn, didn't he, Harry Coo? That's the thing. If he really wanted to win, he had to one turn. Um, but he's down to 9 on the pitch now, so 9 versus 10 is okay. Sonny's tackler is important, I think, to, to get this one turn away now. I do have the wizard, yes, that's correct, Vistral. I haven't forgotten. See, this is the thing, if I'd, had the, maybe if I'd just wizard in t turn in the first half, I would have rolled a 1 on the wizard. But then maybe I would have, uh, I would have scored if I'd wizarded in the first half, but... Um, you know, I wanted the wizard to either turn over or force through my score. Because if he had scored in even in two turns or three turns, it's not so easy for me to score quickly, is it? So I might need the wizard to um, force the score in that situation, I thought. Stand firm, doing work on the sidelines there. Got 
wrestle. He's got wrestle. But yeah, I think that foul on him was I think that foul on him was well worth it. Let lets me run all my guys away, doesn't it, next time? Can't stand this guy up for fear of a surf. Hmm. And then I'm going to do the blitz first. Oh, well, I'm a. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where can I make the cage? I guess I could make the cage first, couldn't I? There's no need to be silly here. Cage over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can cage here, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Now he can go there, which is good, isn't it? Traps his tackler in. I think I'm not going to pile on. Un oh well, okay, KO, I'm definitely not going to pile on. I'm tempted to put him in here. Because then... He's stopping him assisting, he's got, got guard in there. He's a, little, he's a little bit hard to deal with in this spot, isn't he? And then he can go there. He could just double GFI there and just jam them all in. Just go there and screen. Yeah, just go there and screen, I guess, actually. It'd be, it'd be awesome to, to jam, to double GFI this. Because then he can't even... Whereas at the moment he can just 2D him out, can't he? With him. But then there's, there's a bit of a screen here going on. You can move over there. I think that's okay, actually. And then there's just a, there's a full screen now, isn't there? Screening off my cage. <laughs> oh, Goliath. Ah, good old stand firm. Doing work. The other one is just, uh, just getting in the scoring position. <laughs> stand firm. <laughs> Taking up his entire team. Seems good. Oh God, I can surf the strength fall. And then cage up around him. Or I could just cage over here and not surf him. I guess just go forward, eh? It's more important. Yeah, I think... Obviously, I could surf the strength 4. 
And he does have turns left. Because pushing him into here and then moving the mummy in and blitzing there is really good, isn't it? And then I could just cage all around here. It does let me hem me in a bit. Whereas if I go here, blitz here, and move up here, I do get further away. And then I still get 2D him, 2D him, 2D him. Maybe kill them all out. Yeah, I guess the surf isn't so good, is it? Not when I've got such rowdy men's. Thank you very much, Goliath. Oh, yeah. Mighty Blow's just so good, isn't it? Like, surfing's amazing. But just smashing the fuck out of it with Mighty Blow means that you don't even need to sometimes. Alright, we've got the epic cage of epicness now. Let's make it harder for the shithead elves to dodge in. Go for that block. Oh yeah. Cheeky pow. Only shame is I don't get a foul him, isn't it? But he can extricate his whole team here, so he, he's still looking at it. It's still looking at three, six versus six, six versus seven, which isn't great for me. The white is indeed a monster, yeah. Just making sure no random war dancer appears exactly now I'm told. Well, look, they can dodge, can't they? They're elves. Like, they are elves. That's still just a 5 plus dodge with dodge, which is just fucking nuts. Like, how nuts is that? That's a 55% play in, which is, which is way too easy. Way fucking too easy compared to what it should be. Comparing them to any other real Blood Bowl race. Yeah, see, he gets his strength 4 into the play straight away, doesn't he? See you later. I like how big mummies are. his dodge one. Let's base him. I guess I'm just going to blitz him and try to keep going forward seeing as I'm running out of time. You can get in there. He could double GFI here at the end of the turn. Oh no, just one GFI. He'll one GFI at the end of the turn. Um... This is really unlikely. One, two, three. To fail, isn't it? But at least it's um, covered a little bit. After quad skulls it. No quad skulls. Yeah, you can do five. Yeah, but five plus is pretty easy, isn't it? Like when you're thinking about shutting it, you can't really complain if your opponent rolls a five plus with a reroll. It's not even hard for him to do. 
So, like, that's the thing. Yeah, there you go, no, I'm going to see it happen. <laughs> yeah, this is this is pretty good game, hasn't it? In terms of cars, it's just annoying that when I when I when I made one risk, it it fucking was costly. Yeah, well, I would complain too, Jelly Old, but it's not ridiculous, is it? It's not like the craziest thing in Blood Bowl. Um, it's a lot more likely than a one in thirty-six. I put him there as far away as I could reasonably get from his tackler, but I couldn't box in his tackler. Could I? I could have double GFI'd, I guess. I thought about double GFI'ing. Oh, he's he's rolled quite a few double downs on him, which is nice. Is he going to foul? He might. I'm totally just moving him in there. Go for the guy without block. Guess I can move this mummy last if I um, make a, like a GFI to get him into position. This is unnecessary, really, isn't it? I just wanted to do it. Oh, good. This one's a lot better. This GFI because that lets me move him in now, doesn't it? This this guy gets to move in here now. There's no way you can you can crack that cage realistically. Yo, oh, don't worry, Jelly. I'll, I will remember the wizard on turn sixteen. <laughs> Yeah, the 1-1 one -one dodge my Enzo made up for it. Yeah, true, the bones or one Yeah, yeah, I guess the 1-1 one -one dodge did make up for it, but still. I mean, his 1-1 one -one was a sequence, wasn't it? Mine was only one roll in the entire turn. Mine was the only 1 in 36. He had to make a 1 in 36 pass, a 1 in 36 catch. Well, in fact, let's see, let's see what, let's see what he had to do. Let's see what he had to do. Um, he had a pass with pass. Um, right, so that's a two plus pass. He had a catch with catch, eventually. And he had a two plus catch without catch. And then he had with dodge, he had three plus three plus two plus. So his chance of it working was 60, 69% of his play working. Whereas, you know, there, there you go, T-Self, 68.8, yeah. Um, thank you very much for the follow, Mix, Mick Sist. So yeah, you know, he was 69% for his... For, so he was 31 to fail something. It just happened that he failed on the absolute last one in 36. Whereas I only had one one in 36 roll to make. So I think... It wasn't that balanced out, but obviously I was very happy that he didn't score and I was able to recover and uh, 
you know, got a good shot here, haven't I? Oh, the, your your avatar is majestic, Jellyel, in in the in the official forums. Holy shit, that's the that's the argument for hats right there. It's unbelievable. I kind of wish I'd gone frenzy this guy now. It, it is good, isn't it, frenzy? Especially as I've got a stand for um, mummy. The mummy coming in here is decent now, isn't it? Oh god, he's got he's got his strength four bullets. Holy shit! Can move laterally though. Looks like he's overprotecting that side, but he can he can just dodge everyone away, can't he? And I can't fucking stop him. That's the shit thing about elves. You just can't fucking stop everybody dodging away from you, the motherfuckers. Right, I'm not even gonna pile on this time. Don't get the chance to get banged on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could 3D him, but I think it's better to make some GFIs over here, just get in the way a little bit. He's got his Kanoran threat, but he's out of touchdown range. No, he's not. He's in score range. Oh, God, imagine if he does this shit. Right, hopefully that's enough, with a bolt as well. Oh, yeah, he also made a one die, yeah. Yeah, that's true, T-Self. Which, if he'd rolled it both down, he would have made it a lot harder, but yeah. Yeah, that avatar's amazing. It's a great, great, greatest avatar of all times. It looks fucking amazing! That's what that's what a Chaos Dwarf Bull Centaur should look like, shouldn't it? Holy shit. Not these... Not these, even though even though I've got it as my picture on um, on Twitch, these new Forge World ones. This is much better than last time because he can't. He probably can't elf screen it very well, can he? Just because I've got the um, movement seven, so I can go either side still. Got the bolt and the blitz. Tackle blitz, maybe pom blitz, maybe. <laughs> yeah, fan fuck. Well, I've got the rerolls, haven't I? That's the thing. I did have the reroll um, for the GFIs, and uh, I wanted I wanted these players ahead, didn't I? So that I've got. See, he had to run all the way around to base the ball now. Um. So he, he couldn't do it from this side. He couldn't just blitz him and base the ball, which would have been worse for me, I think. Now I can bolt him, can't I? And blitz somebody else. Prize drew 1-1 one, one with Kanor, bloody hell. With the combination of a bolt and a blitz and movement 7, I should be able to get a score in here, shouldn't I?
could fireball all three, but no, obviously I'm just going to bolt the, this guy. If a bolt fails, then I've got to do a one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a two, <laughs> a one in thirty-six. Oh god. All right. So now I don't. The bolt failing doesn't even matter, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just literally. It doesn't even matter if the bolt fails now. Because I just need to push him, but obviously I'm still going to bolt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I can make a pom blitz, which let's do that for the lols. Is the only roll of the the only roll before I score. What could possibly go wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've definitely got the touchdown here, don't I? Let's just make sure. Yep. Let's just try and kill his strength four guy first. I would have been punished one in twelve nine six times, but you know, it's all about it's all about getting the excessive hits in, isn't it? GG. Phew. Vanity block for nuffle. <laughs> ah look, I'll take a one in twelve nine six chance, especially when it's just a draw if it fails. It's, you know, the, the a chance of getting a Kaz there was... It's too much to give up, isn't it, really, I think. In terms of, in subsequent seasons, you know, further down the line, this strength four guy could be a terror for me, couldn't he? I mean, Han's clearly a good coach. Um, so I'd rather deprive him of tools if I get the chance to um, for future matches. Thank you very much, Pedro Jack. Right, and obviously I'll keep this 180k for Ducky. Um... 21 AV breaks. I was pre I was pretty lucky, obviously, and get the it, from 31 from 31 blocks into 21 AV breaks. But obviously, let about 16 of those blocks. Let us not forget we're with piling on mighty blow, um, and block, and obviously some with three dice with mighty blow from mummies. Um, but yeah, pretty and a couple of fouls. As well, but pretty, pretty nice. I can't complain about the luck, even though I did fail the one in 36 to score, which really, really upset me at the time. Um, right, two levels ups. So that'll be sure hands. Thank you very much for the follow, Petro Savvy. Um, so yeah, that'll be sure hands almost certainly for the ghoul, just to count award answers, isn't it? And oh, that could be jump up. <gasps> oh, oh my God, that could be jump up. It's actually really good to take jump up on him now. Now that he has, now that he has the piling on and the mighty blow, the jump up. Because I, I never take it. Like early, I would take dodge and go dodge guard. But he could actually take the jump up. The only thing is, I probably need that tackle pom too much for the playoffs. Um, and and against Ducky, so I think I will just go tackle. To be honest, to be honest, I may well just go tackle because it's pretty important to be able to beat the Wood Elves in the playoffs um, and Ducky in the next match. But yeah, that's pretty good. Nine and zero in UK BBL, top of the table, um, top of the playoffs. So with two games left, I can win one, lose one, and still definitely qualify for the. For the playoffs, so that's good. Um, so it's looking almost certain because obviously I'm, I may lose to Ducky. It's very possible, um, but I might. I guess I'm not going to buy a wizard against him, to be honest. Just because I'd like the hundred, the hundred and fifty in the in the bank for the playoffs, because it looks like I'm going to make them now, doesn't it? So um, yeah, I may well need tackle. He might, yeah, maybe, bleep, maybe. Now nah, there's only two more. There's only two more games to to go before the playoffs. So. Um, yeah, if we look at Group I, 
and we can see the leaderboard. So yeah, if I win one, lose one, I win the group and I qualify for the playoffs. So that's good. And Ducky is 5-2-2 two, two with his Bretts. But he will have four blodges, I assume. Oh, and two blodges. So he's only got two blodges, so tackle's not so important against um, against Ducky. And I guess neither is the um, is the wizard, to be honest. But um, Right, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.